Welcome to our special reception. Tonight is all about you, dear parents. And I'm not going to speak for very long. I know I have my papers here, so it's not going to be a long speech. But it doesn't happen so often that we get together like this. Kid-free parent night out, all of us together. And thinking about the wonderful evening, I asked myself some questions and reflected on the following. What really sets our school apart? What vision does our school have for the type of child we hope our students will emerge as? What tools do we wish to give our students for them to successfully navigate a rapidly changing world and empower them to make an impact? These questions kept coming back to the singular question of what type of child are we hoping to raise? <coughs> Let's take a minute and look around this room. Each one of you is a snapshot of a full-formed adult, each with your own personality, habits, and tendencies. Each has a way that you look at the world, react to stress, to adversity, to challenges, to relationships, to new people, to new ideas. Each of us here, a full-formed adult, Yet, no matter our age or our life experiences, fascinating new research tell us that our personality is basically set for life by the time we were in first grade. The results, as quoted in the research, were that we remain recognizably the same person. The study documented that personality traits observed in children as young as first grade are a strong predictor of adult behavior. Incredible. Think about it. If our personalities are formed pretty much by first grade, and that is a direct link to our adult self, then if we have a dream for our children, a vision for the type of person we wish them to be, when is the right time to start? The right time is right now. And that is what we are doing at Preschool of the Arts. We are here to help your children build healthy habits of the heart, mind, body, and soul. Habits to last a lifetime. Habits that will stay with them until one day they are sitting exactly where you are at their children's preschool reception. Every single one of you sitting here tonight are partners in your children's education, and your active participation and support truly make a difference. It is a true delight to see such a tremendous turnout, and I feel so lucky that we have parents who not only care about their children's education, but want to participate and contribute. And I want to make a special mention to our Circle of Hearts contributors. It takes a big heart to shape big minds. Your support enables Preschool of the Arts to continue to provide the best education, the best resources for our children. I want to thank each of you for joining us this evening. Thank you for supporting and participating in your child's early education. Thank you for adding to our school's culture and atmosphere. And thank you for helping to build and strengthen our Preschool of the Arts community. But tonight, it's really about getting to know one another in a fun and informal setting. So I encourage you to please talk with someone you don't know yet. Get to know the parents of your child's classmates. Because we're on a journey together for this year and for many of us more than one year. So get to know one another. Maybe you could schedule some play dates together. This is really what it's all about tonight. So thank you so much for joining us. Okay, does everybody have? Okay. This is what we're going to do. I'm sorry. We're going to pass the mic around. And for each piece that you took, 
Please share with us something that we may not know about you, or your family, or your children. And if you are with your spouse, you can choose one of you to talk, because you may be here all night. So who would like to begin? Hi, I'm Sophie Primus. Um, our daughter Marin is in the one um, I have three pieces, and something you may not know about we're from Michigan. Uh, we've been here 11 years, we're having your baby next time. <laughs> I had no idea that we were going to be going public this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm for. I mean, Seth kind of just summed it up. We're really happy to be here. Nice to meet you all. And thank you. Hi, <laughs> Stacy. And uh, some of you know that my husband and I are from Massachusetts. Most of you know that we're big Patriots fans and they won today. <laughs> but most of you don't know that our first date was getting tattoos. Oh. <laughs> and, the and I just want to say, out of all the schools I interviewed at, this is the only one I've ever So I'm glad you all picked it as well. I'm Julie Wasserman, and uh, I actually um, was born in upstate New York. A lot of you may not know that. <laughs> but, um, and I grew up on the east coast of Florida. Okay, I'm Alex Haley, which I'm sure some of you know from Pre-Care and After Care is my daughter. Um, I too am from Massachusetts. Moved here a year ago. Best decision ever. Um, and I would never pick anywhere else to send my daughter or any other town to be in. I've been fortunate through this school that I've met an unbelievable group of people who have opened their arms to me. So. Yeah. Hi, I'm Deanna. Stand up. <laughs> I'm the art teacher this year, and I'm from Massachusetts also. Hi, I'm Deanna's husband, Matt, and I'm from Massachusetts too. We've been here 12 years, and um, tomorrow's our wedding anniversary. Yeah. New to Naples and new to preschool yards, and I'm absolutely loving here. So, and these are the most wonderful children anywhere. I'm blessed to be here, and that's more than my half. So. Hi, I'm Brian. Um, my daughter Charlie. Uh, it's been going here for three years. We love it, and um, things that you don't know about me, I had a couple of pieces. I'm not a fan of mine. Um, but I was actually born in Florida. I was born in. in uh, Fort Lauderdale and grew up in Massachusetts and um, we couldn't be happier with what has the, the staff do here at the preschool the Arts is pretty amazing. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Chad, my wife Alana. Uh, there's a lot of people from Massachusetts here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in Boston, and I'm Hi, I'm Jonathan Gabrielis, I'm my wife, Good Fisher. Our daughter is Sophia. Uh, this is our first year at the Bristol of the Arts. We've been in Naples for about two years now. And I remember doing the tour of the school. And uh, we went to an art class, that was one of the examples. And they said, oh, we're doing art inspired by Kandinsky today. And I said, okay, we see it the papers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patty's from Columbia originally. My background is Greek. So we have uh, Sophia, and we have Nicholas, half recap. So, if they're going to play soccer, hopefully they'll play a little bit more. Good evening, everybody. My name is Grant. I'm here with my spouse, Sam. We've actually been together for 25 years. Actually legal for about five years now. Hey. Down the <laughs> we have a, um, Juliana's our daughter. She's three and a half old, years old. And we have twin boys, two years old. Um, we actually went down to the route of uh, a donor, surrogacy, you know, we both were alive. So all three of our children are biologically connected to the same egg donor. The same surrogate carried both times for us. And one, our daughter, was helped in creation by one of us. And then our sons were helped by the alternate one of us. So we're, you know, <laughs> parenthood, as you all can probably agree in, in this room, 
You know, I've had many, many successes in my life and many magical journeys and many great accomplishments, but holy mackerel, <laughs> nothing, nothing can compare with the joy of parenthood. Day in and day out, we know the challenges. I can go on and on about those, but nevertheless, I'm just so proud to be a parent and, and have a loving spouse for the past 25 years. In reference to preschool the arts, we, we toured many schools prior to making the decision to come here. And I will honestly say, from the moment that we met Eddie, the love, the feeling of welcome, the support, just everything that we felt from the very first meeting was truly magical. So I want to thank Eddie for her dedication, her living her dream and bringing the school into reality and, and thank you for having such a loving environment which is um, very very special to me and Sam as well so thank you for giving me the time to share i'm fabio this is my wife elaine uh we moved from atlanta about 14 years ago uh i'm italian grew up in argentina uh our son came here in a summer program right a couple years ago love Eddie, the rabbi and now Mila, our daughter, comes here, and uh, we just love the place. And Mila, I was telling you some of you guys, last week she wasn't feeling well, and Elaine was at the town. And every time I got home, she wanted to go to school. She didn't want to go to the bar, she didn't want to go to the restaurant, she wanted to go to school. I said, fuck it, am I going to school now? You know, Mila, you're still sick. Fuck it, I want to go to school. <laughs> so that's been just, you know, great things about this guy. He's a very good job, and we're happy to be here. Thank you. This is my lovely wife, Ellie. She's the one that does the majority of the drop off and pick up. Um, we love this place. Uh, some friends of ours turned us on to it. I uh, can't, can't imagine a happier place. It's very convenient because it's right around the corner. Um, but, but absolutely love the place. I uh, can't say enough about the staff, teachers, uh, how, they, how they treat our kids. Uh, a love and compassion. It's, it's fantastic. Hi, this is Jennifer Shanahan, and this is my husband, Richard. We have Sutton and Rick, who we call Baby Rick. No longer a baby anymore, though, that's now starting with Marsha. Um, one of the things about me that you will see is that I think um, I'd like to be one of the students here, too. <laughs> You'll see me go down that slide many, many, many times, probably with one of your children sometime. Um, I think if I would ever go back to work, I'd ask for a job here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Gina Wyatt, and my son is Levin. He's the one with curly hair. And I so appreciate it. So anyway, um, maybe it's here from San Diego. And why you might ask, uh, preschool the arts. <laughs> no, but honestly, it's, um, my son is always smiling when we leave. He's always wanted to come here, even on the weekends. So I know that it's an like amazing school. Sorry, it's the best school I've ever had. So, I'm your old daughter, so this is me. Anyway, thank you. My name is Joe Paul Grigish. This is my lovely wife, Ashley. Uh, oh, this is my brother, Richard, and my sister-in-law, Stephanie. Uh, you may not realize that Richard and I, we work together on a daily basis. You may see us, either one of us dropping our daughters off. His daughter's Mary's, my daughter's Catherine. Um, my wife owns a salon, Salon Bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> Richard and I, we work in real estate at Campbell and Creepish. Kind of a rabbinical question. I didn't get my own piece of toilet paper. Emmy gave it to me. Do I say something about my family or about Emmy? <laughs> In truth, really, I just want to say the staff are amazing there. So, Emmy has been Hindus teacher and Chaya's teacher as well. So is Judy. And I want to thank my wife, Eti. You know, there's a statement that goes, behind every great man, there's an even greater woman and a surprise mother-in-law. <laughs> I want to just change it up a little bit and say that behind every successful woman, there's a proud husband. That's right. Who said that? You got a whole toilet paper thing. And um, I'm just honored. I'm a proud husband. And I want to know about what you wanted to know something about myself is that I also have to wait online every day to talk to Etty. I'm Judy. I've been here a little bit. 
Hello, just show me. <laughs> this is my right arm over here. Um, and he takes good care of me. I've been here two years in preschool and a year doing um, homeschooling with Ethel and, and Rabbi. I've been teaching for probably close to 40 years, so a long, long time. But I have to say, uh, teaching gives me more than what I do. I get back so much more from the children. It's constant learning. I never stop learning from the children that I'm teaching. And I have to take courses, too, to keep up with teaching here at Preschool of the Arts. So it's a wonderful thing for the teachers, the opportunities. And your children are beautiful. And it's, it's busy. It's electric. It's exciting and a wonderful experience to be teaching here at Preschool of the Arts. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Ross, and I don't have the privilege of seeing you as much as I'd like to because you're here much earlier than I. I'm Preschool of the Arts music teacher, and I come every Wednesday after you've all gone along with your morning schedule, so I'm thrilled to be able to connect some of the faces with the children I love so much because I love you. This is my beautiful wife, Lacey. Uh, I grew up in Vermont, I don't know. Lizzie is a uh, lifelong Neapolitan. Uh, we have Carter, uh, who's in Miss Judy's class, and Claire, who's in Miss Sue's class, and we have one on the way due December 25th, so we're uh, gonna be nice and busy. So, cheers. Hi, I'm Steve Rufino, this is my wife, Megan. Uh, our daughter, Sella Rose, is in Miss Sue's class. Uh, she actually just started two weeks ago. It's been a, a great two weeks for Sella, a very confusing two weeks for Megan. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually both locals, natives, um, and Dolphins fans. Not yeah. Patriots fans. Sorry. As well as Yankees fans. So. Um, that's <laughs> My name is Neil. I got uh, four squares here. Uh, my son, Toma, is in uh, Ms. Sue's class, the Mini Monet class. Uh, one, I, I'm from Maryland. Uh, two, my wife is actually from Japan. Uh, we go there a couple of times a year. Uh, three, uh, Toma's name is a Japanese name. It actually means uh, unifier, someone who brings people together. Um, and uh, four, I. Uh, selfishly put my son in preschool of the arts because I want to know more about uh, Jewish culture and I've been uh, very happy with the experience here. This is our second year. And uh, my name is Dan Wasserman. This is, this is Jordan's our second child uh, that has been here at the school but our third child. And so since we're on definitions of names and where we're from, something that, people, something that most people don't know about me is uh, so my father's your typical New York Jew who grew up in country Syracuse, New York, actually in Canastota, New York, in a town of less than 3,000, and met my mother in Israel, who was actually born in the country of Iraq. And so my, mo my mother's side of the family is actually like Babylonian Jew that goes back like millennia, and they were Levites. And if anybody knows your story, Levites didn't want to leave uh, Babylon and Persia conquered and let them go back to Israel. But anyway, point is, is that Jordan, Jordan's name is Jordan Levi, and the reason that's his, uh, his name is because we weren't sure if that was going to be the last child, and I wanted to give, especially my sons, a sense of uh, origin and a sense of um, antecedents. And uh, so the Hebrew word for Jordan is Yarden, which is a river, right, in the, the river of Jordan, which actually means to descend, right? And so Jordan's name is to descend, and his middle name is Levi, from the Levites in Iraq. So that is Jordan's name. So thanks for the inspiration to talk. <laughs> I thought I didn't. You gotta follow that one up. Um, our name is Scott Hicks, this is my lovely wife Lisa, and our Alexa has been here for two years now, and she's with Miss Kelly this year, and she absolutely loves it here, we've had a great experience. Thank you for all your dedication. <laughs> and this is my husband Eddie, and we have our daughter Mackenzie in Miss Julie's class. This is our third year. <laughs> we uh, love it here, of course. Um, I'm originally from Germany. I've uh, been in the U.S. for 12.
20 years, 20 plus years, um, enables three years maybe. And um, I used to be wild and crazy, did like yes. crazy things, you know, windsurf, big waves, you know, jumped out of airplanes. But now that I'm a mom, it's the best thing I've ever done. Is, um, I love being a mom. Thank you. My name is Justin, and this is my wife, Tam. And we met as prosecutors in Miami. And, and we got tattoos, too. <laughs> we, we met about 11 years ago and moved to Naval six years ago. And our daughter Sophia went to school here for three years. Three years. She just graduated uh, last year and she's a uh, kindergartner at Vineyards. And our younger daughter, Lila, is coming into her second year. And we really enjoyed the school and really happy with the decision to both move to Naples and have a both attend school here. Thank you. I'm Tracy Benson. This is my husband, Bill. Uh, we have two kids. John is three, and he is with Miss Hope. And then our other one, he's only one, Liam. He's not here yet. But uh, we're very happy with our experience so far. Um, recently, our son John just switched from two days to three days. And before I did it, I asked him, I said, do you want to go two or three days to school? And he looked at me and he goes, four. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So anyway, um, it's very cool to see, you know, all that he's learning and doing. He's coming home and singing about the days of the week. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's really cool. So anyway. Uh, Whether it's a very small donation or a very big donation. Uh, could even be a teddy bear to the police station or whatever the case might be. But, you know, since Mike had it on my hands, I thought it would be great to kind of share with everybody. Challenge yourself that on the celebration, on, on, on the day of the birth of your child, that is a true celebration. What can we do to give back to, in, 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 in light of that celebration in a special way that's dear to our heart? And it can be, goodness, it can even be a train from the dollar store to the children's foundation of some sort. So um, I just wanted to share that with everybody, and it's really empowered me over the past couple of weeks when I had a spring spark and I don't know where it came from. I don't know, but I won't question it, but just sharing that with everybody in the room. A lot of you saw me speak at graduation, and I have a major fear of public speaking, so. And I teach high school English, which is really bizarre. So, um, I, I've been involved with preschool since its first year, and it's my favorite place, so I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> But um, anyway, my <laughs> we love your children, and we look forward to our next gathering, which is next month. And we're so excited about curriculum night. It's in addition to the fact that you're going to be going into your child's classroom to learn about our innovative curriculum and their daily routines, we're also so excited to bring in guest speakers, Blake and Jim Margaroff the founder and CEO of LeapFrog, and his son, who's 22 years old, CEO of a major, um, uh, I have to check myself, of a major uh, medical technology company. I don't have the name right here, but please take the note on your way out and save the date. It's sure to be an inspiring evening. They're gonna talk about how to raise successful children, together, father and son. And they've talked at TED Talks, Google, and many other prestigious platforms. So we're very honored to have them come and talk to our preschool parents. We can go all night. <laughs> Please take another bite to eat and enjoy the rest of the evening. It was a pleasure to be together.